Hey Sagittarius, happy birthday. Woo, it's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing great. All right, <clears throat> today we're gonna be doing your December 2018 general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say. Let's get into it for Sagittarius, Sagittarius. So Saggies, if you're interested in a personal reading, please email me at trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. Be more than happy to set something up for you. Um, I'll send you all the information you need. Also, quick answers, quick questions on Instant Go. There's other reading types available on there as well. Um, if you're interested in that. Okay. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my spreads, it's a nine card spread for generals. I do three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius for December 2018, please. December 2018, Sagittarius. Okay. Endings, Sagittarius. Oh, shit. As soon as I say that, the tower comes out. Yeah, big endings, guys. Big endings. Um, we'll do some clarification to see. But damn, you fall right into new beginnings. Oh, my goodness. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. You guys are clearing out some stuff. All that crap that was just holding you down. You're, like, losing it. That's great. For some of you guys, it is work, okay? Uh, Three of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, Lord, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. All right, Sagittarius, this could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is you cutting through BS, okay? Queen of Swords is a powerful woman. Doesn't have to be a woman if you're a male. It could be you too. But just embodying that energy, she's extremely independent. She is not afraid to say what she thinks or feels. She doesn't tolerate or deal with any BS, and I'm telling you right now, you probably took that sword and were like, Err! you know, skirt, skirt, pump the brakes. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, right? You stood up for yourself, which is great. Sagittarius, <clears throat> recent past, seven of pentacles, ten of swords, and the tower. Major shakeups, all right? You had enough of being stabbed in the back. You had enough of it. Um, it's something you worked really hard at, too. Like, you were working on this. You were putting, in you know, good intentions into it. You planted the seeds. You were hoping <clears throat> that something good would come out of this, that things would come to fruition for you, and they have not or did not, and so it was kiboshed. Now, either you kiboshed it, Sagittarius, we'll clarify this, or the universe said, I'm going to do you a little favor, Saggy, and I'm going to just cut this one right out for you, okay, so that you can move forward positively, because going into your present, we have... Um, the Ace of Swords, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy again, and that's boom, boom, plus Scorpio. Um, but listen, Ace of Swords is a new beginning, and that's victory, okay? So whatever this was that ended back here, Sagittarius, it had to end. It really did, you know, because you have a victorious new beginning, something you can actually win at here, all right? Because nobody likes to play games all day long with anybody or any situation where it's like cat and mouse, you know, am I, am I going to win or, or am I not? You know, it's like always a question. What's going on? What's going on? No, you're not into that, right? You're sad. You're like, no, give it to me straight or don't give it to me at all or I'm just leaving, you know? Um, and that's exactly what happened here. You've gotten clarity. You've gotten communication. And you are starting something fresh, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you, Sagittarius, <clears throat> if it was a person that you cut out that felt like a soulmate, okay, and you just had enough, enough was enough with this person, especially if they were a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, likelihood is they'll be returning, and likelihood is you'll be like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. If it was a job situation, um, you know, again, same thing. They may offer you something uh else they may offer to move departments for you they may offer you a raise to stay they may offer you something to try to get you to you know, try to keep you around Sagittarius because you're very valuable that's what I'm seeing here and you reject it I think you're just like no I don't even care even if they offer you a big raise or a promotion king of pentacles reverse you're like mm -mm. some of you guys might be dealing with an earth sign Virgo Taurus Capricorn if that's the case they are not acting right you're looking for clarity from this person you're like yo you know I need to know what's up, when it's going to happen, when, where, why, and how, like all of it. You know, you want, you want to know uh, what exactly is going on because I don't think they've been very clear with you before. Uh, that sudden ending may have been due to the fact that you didn't feel like you had honesty or truth in a situation and you're like, I'm not tolerating that. <laughs> I'm not tolerating that, you know. Um, moving forward into the near future, you guys, I do see a change of jobs for a lot of you, three of pentacles reversed. Others of you, it is an ending to a third party situation. If that's what this is all about up here, if that's what I was talking about, you're like, mm -mm, I don't do love triangles. No thanks. You know, if you are the third party, you're getting out of that, moving into something else, but completely walking away. All right. Um, some of you guys might have been hanging around waiting for this person to come to their senses and they didn't. Others of you, if you have a third party, meaning you are involved with two people at the same time, um, that looks to end. Okay. So that person or your 
you know, it could be the person that you're more, most connected to will be walking away here. All right, now I do see in your near future Sagittarius, you're very stressed out, okay? Walking away from this is permanent, like you're done, done, okay? And that does stress you out to a degree. Now listen to me, there's something to be said about this because every year at our solar return, it's like the the storm really comes crashing down, all right? It really does because it's it's literally clearing out the rest of the stuff, the garbage that's been hanging around in our life so that we can start fresh in this new year okay this new year that's being gifted to us by the universe all right so for those of you that are going through difficult endings i see this you guys nine of swords anxiety grief depression sleepless nights ten of swords betrayal backstabbing enough is enough all right and then having to leave something behind you have to understand the reason this is happening is so that you can move into something that is victorious you're already on the way even if you don't realize that okay Seven of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Sagittarius in their recent past? Ooh, Four of Swords, okay? Again, you were working on something in the background. For some of you guys, you were working on ending this shit a long time ago, and you just didn't tell anybody. You're like, mm-mm, I'm either applying for new jobs, or I'm saving my money, or doing whatever I need to do to get out of this crappy relationship, all right? Um, others of you, you were working very hard, um, working harder than people realize on perhaps trying to salvage this job or this relationship and not really telling anybody how much of a struggle it had been. You know, not opening up to friends or family because you don't want them to worry or to give you advice because you just didn't want to hear it. You wanted to just deal with it yourself, you know. Trying really hard to make it work in silence is what I see. But others of you, you may have cut somebody off because you're focused on something else now. And that person may have been a liar. Seven of Swords, reversed, okay? You may have caught them in a lie in some sort of deception. Now, if this is a love relationship, you might have caught them cheating, lying, just being completely deceptive or dishonest, taking something that doesn't belong to them, all right? Others of you... Um, you know, if it's a job, you just realize they were just taking from you, right? They were never going to give you this promotion that you were working so hard for. You, they were never going to treat you the way you needed to be treated, right? So the tower fell, okay? Tower, why is the tower here? Wow. And it freaked you out. Damn, Sagittarius. I'm so sorry. Like, you guys are freaked out. I mean, you're overcoming it, but that shit was hard, all right? This was no joke. Like, this threatened your livelihood or some shit because you're like, I mean... It was sudden, abrupt, and out of the blue. Somebody just flipped out, all right? And just like either peaced out or went, you know, no communication quickly, um, whatever the case may be, all right? But you have to understand, even if you don't realize it, this person or the situation was deceptive. They were taking, not giving, all right? So, wow. Ace of Swords, damn, there's my Sagittarius's. Okay, look at you getting clarity, truth, and honesty, and taking action, standing up for yourself. Good for you, Sagittarius. Not letting anybody, look at you, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. Not nobody, not know how is going to stand in your way, right? And it's not like you sat idly by and just let things happen like this. You were like, mm -mm, I'm out, I'm done, I'm finishimo, finissimo, okay? Done, done, done. And, and that's good. You actually took action to make improvements in your life. Some of you guys have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> random but this I see the black cat here okay so some of you have a cat I just need to say that all right um let's see real quick because she does not sit around again she's like the queen of swords this is chop chop this is move move okay <laughs> so you chop it then you keep on moving all right you're not going to sit around crying all day about this six of cups reversed the hermit reversed Woo. so again if you cut off communication with somebody especially it could be a Virgo um but if you cut off communication from somebody and they went silent right here they come like I said back around okay so you might not have heard anything you might have been looking for answers or clarification and they weren't they weren't speaking you know you didn't know what the hell was going on and then they come back around trying to offer you this fake shitty couple love or offer to stay with them as a you know an employee whatever um, out of the woodwork and you're like what others of you guys be careful mercury retrograde you might be hearing from somebody who you used to date or who you were in love with at one point they're coming out of their cave uh to try to see where you're at right now now if this person comes back let me just for those of you that i'm talking about right now just so you can know what to do when this happens let me pull one more <clears throat> okay uh ooh, interesting if it's somebody from your past that you used to be in love with because that six of cups can be soulmate twin flame okay that you broke it off with or that they disappeared Sagittarius, they may want to really work on this with you. I'm sorry my lighting is so wonky. I have the Eight of Pentacles there. More Earth energy. i got to fix this after the video. All right, it's just going to be a little dark. Sorry, guys. Um, 
they may actually be serious about wanting to work on this with you, all right? Um, so, I mean, it's up to you. It looks like they're serious this time, and this person would be somebody that you haven't heard from in a while, all right? Somebody that just kind of pops up out of the blue. Again, Mercury retrograde, stuff like that happens. King of Pentacles, reverse, sign of cups, all right? Mm, if you're dealing with an earth sign, they're either very selfish, like self-fulfilling. That nine of cups can be very gluttonous, indulgent energy, okay? So, um, earth sign. So, the boss is either just focused on themselves, focused on getting their own cups filled, or if it's an earth sign that you're dealing with, um, you know, they may be very just, like, into themselves, you know? Like, worried about them and not really about you, and you're like, where the hell do I stand in all of this? I need you to tell me what's going on so I can make a decision for myself. And if they don't tell you, it's like you make the decision for them. Bam. You know, tower. Um, others of you, you're leaving behind an earth sign, and I kid you not, you're walking into something that is like wish fulfillment. Now, we've got the six of cups reversed here with the nine of cups. You could be leaving earth for water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio just saying okay if it's not that it's like you're leaving behind a job that was not fulfilling you working really hard towards getting something that does that makes your wishes come true all right that just makes you feel good that type of thing three of pentacles reverse nine of wands reverse you're sick and tired of defending yourself all right you're sick and tired of having to um explain yourself to people and always having to watch your back it's exhausting right so instead of being in this three of pentacles reverse situation you're letting your guard down but the only way to do that is to get out of that situation is what it looks like here and you're okay with that even though it's scary i see it's scary nine of swords Ooh, king of swords gemini libra aquarius so now we have the king and queen of swords guys a lot of air energy for you this month um but again you know you don't don't stress out about this too much all right whatever the situation is you're going to get the clarity that you seek seek and again for those of you that are leaving somebody behind that presented themselves as this faux king of pentacles they were going to give you stability they were going to marry you they were going to you know build a family or a life with you and they just weren't doing that and you had to walk away um you guys have somebody right on the they're right on their heels walking into your life is what i see here or a water sign or an air sign um eight of cups yeah eight of cups uh eight of cups walking away sorry and then seven of cups reverse again because you're very clear you're very clear on the fact that this was not going to work and you needed to get out of this situation all right so you took action on that which is really good all right, let's pull a couple of romance cards for you, Sagittarius. Good for you guys. This is an awesome kick-ass way to start the year. You know what I mean? Like, hell yeah. All right. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Ah, uh, somebody just had this. It was either, I think it was Aquarius. If y'all if y'all are messing around with an Aquarius, you might want to check the reading out. Okay, so we got romantic feelings. I told you, you're going to meet somebody else quick, all right? And then love yourself first. Yeah, another sign already had this one, too. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, and that's true. By walking away, you're essentially respecting yourself. Who wants to be in this craptastic situation? Not me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't got time for that, and I know you don't either, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what else we got going on. Damn, I'm sorry, though. That's the shit. I hope mm, for whoever that is that caught their person cheating or lying, that's messed up. You know, I feel for you, boo. That's a shitty thing. All right, let me see. Okay, so, all right, it is number 21, Grove. So the numbers 2, 1, 21, and 3 may be significant. I gotta fix this lighting. I'm gonna have to pull up my light. All right, let's get the book. Sagittarius 21, Grove. Okay, now is the time to apologize to anyone you have harmed, make your friendships whole again, and choose healing over anger and pain. Choosing my beautiful grove is a powerful sign that you are at a wondrous and strong time in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No one is perfect yet. Imperfect is perfect as it is. If you are hurting, know that it will pass and that I watch over you. If someone you love is hurting, take this time to be there for this person. The sacred grove heals all aches and pains, especially a heart that has been wounded. Bam, told you, you guys are getting over this real quick and I really think it's gonna be with the help, if it's love, of somebody new that really gives a shit about you, that's not gonna treat you like that, okay? All right, my Sagittariuses, again, if you're interested in a personal reading, please email me, trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. Um, I love all of you and appreciate all of you. I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Um, if you are interested, again, you can find me on Instant Go. And if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you here. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Happy December, and I'll talk to you soon. And happy birthday. Bye.